Hello. I'm audio. Time to go on a warpath. I think that's what we gotta do. Let me look. Let me look. Warpath time. Alright. Because, uh, you know, Rance did a thing with Isoroku. You know, they did a thing. They did, they did, they did sex. So, you know, she's gotta mature a little bit, so to speak. Alright, this looks like shit, but I think I can do that. Um, I got a little trick. I got a little trick on my sleeve, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let me just... Yeah. Let's bring two guards in the front. Gone. Meta. That it. Bring, uh... Urza. <laughs> I think that's actually not that bad. You're looking at me and you're like, Oh, yeah, that's pretty... You got a fuck setup going there. Well, you know what? It's good. Okay? This is a good setup. Just... You know, I bring two tacticians, and despite that, all of their units with no speed buffs go before me. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. No one got the buffs I needed them to get. Gon doesn't have a defense arrow. Maida doesn't have a defense arrow. Magic doesn't have an intelligence arrow. Rizna doesn't have an intelligence arrow. This game sucks sometimes. This is one of the times that this game sucks. So... My ass is a little pain at this situation. Yes, it is. You're just gonna battle rating down the entire fight. That's it. That's the only way I'm gonna win with you. Oh, that was good, Gon. You, wow. High defense on you. I thought you were a little better than that, but what the fuck, you know, sometimes. That was a waste. I'm just gonna... Well, maybe that wasn't. No, that's probably fine. I can't believe he's attacking me so much. And normally that doesn't bother me, but Gon is just so fuck. Like, honestly. I'm, I get the worst luck sometimes, I really do. Maybe that seems like it's a weird thing for me to complain about, but I really do, you know? That was just pure bullshit. And none of them got a defense boost. None, no one at all got a buff that I wanted them to get. That's just stupid. That's stupid. Aggravates the hell out of me. That guy just keeps getting healed, and of course, Maida doesn't have guard. I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever. Ugh. Losing so many troops to those things. It's really aggravating, too. But uh, that's part of the game that you can't really change. Um, so. I guess that's fine. I gotta rebuy a lot of units because of those fucking soul binders. Uh, let me look. Speed textbook. Wow, was that the first one I got all game? You never find those ever. Do I sound angry? I, you know, I'm a little butthurt about it. I am a little bit, a little ass pain. Butt bumbled, you know. Let's see what they got here. Choshin, you got this. Good scouting, man. Good. Uh... Nope. 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 Let me explain something about her. Uh, she's bullshit. So, you know. I'm fairly certain when she goes out in combat, every unit on her side of the field gets full tactician buffs. And I cannot deal with that with what I've got, so... I will not deal with that with what I got. With what, with what I got. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so. What do we got this time? Shit. See, look it. I could have fought and fought Keikokudoria, or I get three groups of ninjas. Okay. Yeah, that's hard. Dude. I can solo this with Rance if I was feeling terrific, but I'm not feeling terrific. So, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, you'll go. Niwa. Niwa's not gonna go. Niwa doesn't do anything. Isoroku's gonna go. Um... Ryoma? I guess Ryoma can go. I, I overdeployed so much for that, I don't even care. Not like I'm gonna use Ryoma, or Iki, or Teru, or Isoroku really anywhere else anymore at this point. They're kind of beyond it. Um, Ryoma, like, all of the Takuga people are just very average, you know, when you get them, and I don't have the means or the will to make them good at this point in the game. 
Ja. Kudos, you know. Uh, yeah, Rance is my heaviest guy, so I gotta tear this warrior up with him or it's not gonna get done. Um, do I even need to guard with Terra at this point? I guess. I guess I can, you know, I guess. EQ gets the finisher. Yeah, this is a good fight. This is interesting, right? This is a good, this is a good bountiful extreme battle. I have lost so many, so many of my units have been annihilated this playthrough. It makes me look like I'm fuck at this game. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe I am. No, I'm a professional. I'm a professional. Beat this guy up. Thank you, Teru. Did I tell you about Teru's age scenes? Scene, well, she had, okay. She has a scene with Rance that has two CGs. And then she has uh, a scene with Omachi and Renmaru and all the other monster girls. There's a big orgy scene from with all the female characters in the game. She's in that one. Okay, the giveaway. But, like, the two that she has with Rance, one of them is really, really Guro. And that sounds stupid, right? But, just hold on a sec. This is spoilers. I forgot to say it. But it's not really spoilers, because no one cares about an H scene. Um. My dog started barking and I lost what I was talking about. I'll blame it on the dog. Blame it on the dog. Um, I have fapped Terra's age scene, but not the guru section of it. Because the guru, you know, that's not my thing. I can't. You know, pain is bad. Blood is bad. You know, I couldn't be a surgeon. Someone was dying of, like, a gunshot wound. I don't know if I'd be able to help him. I'm not dealing with this. I am going to deal with this. I'm just going to full deploy for this, you know. <laughs> I'm going all in. I don't even care. Akechi's going, he- oh yeah, Akechi's going, no he's not. There we go, that's good enough. You're from Eager, right? Don't you mind fighting your comrades? What did I do to Eager originally in this playthrough? I thought that I fought them normally. I, you know, I'm so confuddled. So, I guess I'll just, you know, slaughter them. Oh, really though, what did I do? I must have... I don't have Gecko, so I didn't uh, dislocate all of Inukai's joints. Um, I thought that I killed him. I thought that I killed Inukai. What am I doing? Whatever. Anyone want to remind me in the comments what the hell I did? Because I don't even know what video I did it in. I don't even watch these usually. <laughs> I don't like watching myself, so I don't actually know, you know, if. Uh, you know, I don't quality check very, very good. That's why you can hear this fucking semi. I can't do anything about that, though, you know. Just living in a shack with broken windows, you know. That's how that goes. Thank you for being understanding. Appreciate that. Um, hmm, yep, do this. Because, uh, you know, it was always, you know, I could have lost, right? No. Couldn't have lost. Kill this. Yeah. Oh, look at this, you guys. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. They just stood there and let me shoot them. Some ninjas they are. Done. Handled. Prisoners don't care about. Won't ever use. Attack me. Do it. Take one, take one of the territories back. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you, demon army. Now I'll do it again. Probably. Um, I don't remember this. Probably related to Isuroku. I, I don't fucking remember. Actually, I, oh, that's some good tea. You know, I've never seen this. I think is the issue here. No, they're both assholes, so they're good friends. That's how it works. Um. Yep. Well, yeah, I have never seen this because I've never, uh... I've never had EQ and Choshin at the same time. And it's so weird that that would show up so goddamn late in the game, but... That's fine. That's fine, um... Well, I did Lemon Dungeon, right? Yeah, okay. I was, <laughs> I was gonna say, if I didn't do the Lemon Dungeon at this point, we're gonna have an issue. But I did do it, so... 
Choshin, scout for me again. Oh, that's a good meaty slaughter fest. This is gonna be a good way to go. This is what I want. Oh yeah. Let me uh re regrow your troops, Meta. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, cats. We got musket. That's her name. Uh, we gotta bring Suzume. We're just gonna eat. No, Suzume is a carry unit. I don't wanna bring her for this. When I say carry unit, I mean I deploy Suzume and she wins for me. So I'm not gonna bring her here. Kiku's like a mid-range carry unit. Ryoma sucks. There you go. You got all three. You got Suzume at the top of the chain. You got Kiku and you got Ryoma. And Ryoma doesn't do anything because I didn't upgrade her. That is all. Um, what was I doing? I need a tactician. That would be EQ. And uh. I think that's fine, right? This is all garbage, so... Yeah. Yeah, EQ, just keep, uh... Yep, auto, yep. Just keep, uh, getting affection. Their musket unit has a speed boost. I guess that's logical. That's a good upgrade for a musket unit, you know? If you're gonna give them anything, I'd give them a speed boost. So it can go before my musket unit and my other two guys with the speed boost. Beautiful. Shoot this. I'm not really mad. Do I sound mad? Yeah, I do. I'm not really mad. I got work in an hour, so I am a little mad. But, you know. Quitting that shit on 420. So I got a month. Then I'm just gonna make videos five times a day, and that's all I'm gonna do. So, spoilers. Um, Cats is losing more guys. That's cool. You know, I mean, I love... I love paying... 4,000 gold for one troop once they get above the 1k cap. That's fun. So that's good that cats would lose all those guys to soul binders. I've gone over the fact that you don't lose troops in a counterattack from the soul binder, right? I don't really understand that. I don't think I need to understand that. It's just how it is. It's people hurting themselves. That's clearly, clearly what's going on there. Um,. Attack the, attack the infected in the back, because this 700 musket unit is not really something that I care about. He's not something that will ever trouble me in life, you know? Like, cats can take that, rants can take that. A catchy, you know, I'm exaggerating when I, when I say a catchy could take that, it's an exaggeration. A catchy can't do anything. Fun fact, the catchy Mitsuhide's gravestone was struck by lightning in real life, because he's an asshole. That's your fun fact of this video. Oh, and I uh, cleared the way for the... Oh, that was good. Good call, audio. Good planning. Good uh, good foresight. And we'll do this, because it'll work, 100%. There we go. All right. Does it make me seem like an action hero, though, when I do predict it properly? Maybe not an action hero, just a really cool dude. Uh, might. Might. Maybe the perception I have of myself is wrong. Niwa still he's still in the game, he's still scouting. Uh, I'm just not, you know I'm not really gonna deal with that. <laughs> this is why fighting the Shimazu and Demon Army thing is a problem on higher difficulties, because it's hard to you know, it's hard to throw yourself into an offensive battle when they have that musket unit and that guard unit waiting for you. You can't really do it, you know, and and be happy with yourself. So, you know, unless you have Notori or Sagan or something like that, and I don't have either of them. Here's the Miko Institute, just sitting there. <laughs> Maybe that was an oversight on my part. Maybe she should be like a required character when I let's play this game. God damn it! I'm not gonna don't I'm not gonna deal with this. Maybe I will. Maybe I will deal with this. Let me look. I think I can deal with this, you guys. Meta's gonna go. Gun is not gonna go. Senime is gonna go. Sonnet is gonna go. Magic's gonna go. Suzume is gonna go. Uh-huh. Actually, I need I, so I's gonna go. Um, Suzume's gonna go in the front. Is that good enough? Does that look okay? No, because I don't have a single good unit that can eat through Keikoku. And she's... She's too good. Hmm. I have to have one somewhere. I could bring Kenshin. She wouldn't do it. Uh, throw away the commander charge. I could bring Urza. No. Hmm. It's looking pretty bad. I don't think I can do this, you guys. Uh... 
she's just so good. Um, no, I can't do it. Oh well. I can't really show you her in combat because she's ridiculously good. Uh, we'll continue this part till my next turn. But uh, you know, I have fought her and she's just an asshole. I don't like dealing with her. Uh, scout this and see what I'm working with. Kentaro and yeah, fine, you can both go since I misclicked. That's an easy defense. So I'll do that. Sen. Teru, I guess Teru? Yeah. Yeah. Suzume, Aki, Magic. Suzume's gonna go on the front. Aruza, yeah, there we go, that's fine. Right, I didn't. Yeah, that's fine. Been a while since we heard this music, right? I usually skip these battles, just because I've been able to lately. Oh yeah, so anyway, I forgot that I had her, actually. I didn't organize my unit list like I usually do. I just kind of left it as this big cluster fuck that's not even good. But, you know, I, I have a lot of guard units in this playthrough. This is the most you'll ever see me get for guard units, by the way, folks. I'm not gonna... I'm not someone who gets a lot of those. No one gets a lot of those, actually. I should clarify that. Nobody gets a lot of guard units. It's part of the game. I don't really know why. The AI seems to just be loaded with them, you know what I mean? But you can never find any. Oh well. Um, yeah, hit this. That's good. That's good enough. I was gonna die from Urza's volley whenever I get around to doing that. Um, Suzume is not very strong right now. I, I thought she was stronger. She usually gets an attack boost. That's what the issue is. I gave her a speed luck, and I have made her a pretty good unit, honestly. But I haven't. You know, I've made her a better unit before. I just tried to do that with too many. Like, you gotta carry the fuck out of Aki. She's shit. So I failed on her. I wanted to do it with uh, one of the Kyoko sisters, too. But I failed with her because she died. Um, I wanted to do it with Suzume, too. And Suzume, you know, turned out the best. But, I mean, Aki's alright for defense. You know, I can throw her out there in defense. And she'll heal, and it's fine. And there's no issue with, like, her function. She's perfectly fine. But... You know, I've got a lot of really average units right now. I don't really... I'm not fixing it, you know? They're just all sitting there at average. And, you know, I gotta be honest here. It's because it's Isoroku's route, so I just kind of... You know. This is not a route that I... Care about? I, I don't know how to say it any other way. It's like, I care about this route, I do. But it's not... It's not, this is epic, you know? Like, fighting the Demon Army in True Route, this is epic. Fighting the Demon Army in Isoroku's Route, not so epic, because I know how it ends. Which is not to necessarily ruin your feeling of what epic is, but... Who has the guard paper? Who have I... Who has the guard paper? Alright. Who's got that shit? Magic still has that shit. I just deployed her. So that means that I cannot do this battle. So that means, um... Unless I sacrifice Gon. I could sacrifice... I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna sacrifice him. His people have had a hard enough life. Oh no, Choshin, affected by Soulbinder. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Isoroku. Um... Ooh, I think, uh, I think she's pregnant, guys. <laughs> or she's trolling rants. It'd be more fun to troll 3G, though, you know. You haven't been blessed with a baby, okay? It's not luck. People don't get pregnant by chance, you know. You have cycles, you know, and rants had this spell. Like, it's exactly the same way in real life, Isoroku. Let me go over it. If this chick's banging this guy in real life, She's on one of her cycles, or, uh, I don't actually understand how it works. So, um, she's ovulating. There you go. Then it works out fine. Also, the guy's not allowed to have magic spell on his balls. So, if there is a girl who is ovulating and a guy without a magic spell on his balls, then you'll have a kid. That's what happened. Yep. I don't actually need, you know... Blessedness, blessed... Blessed with a child, I, you know, it doesn't work that way. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe it's just a figure of speech, a figure of speaking, figurative language. I don't know. 
I probably shouldn't care that much. Can 3G even die of age? Do all three of his heads share the same age? Oh boy. No. Well, you've seen that 3G can't die when he gets shot in the head with an arrow. If they cut off one of his heads, what would happen? Would it regrow? Technically, it could regrow, but technically... Oh my god, actually... Ooh. I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, yes, his head could regrow, but his brain wouldn't have the same shape it had before, so one of his brains wouldn't be able to have the same memories and thought patterns. It wouldn't be the same guy, it'd be a new brain. So it wouldn't be the same 3G head that you knew. It wouldn't be the happy 3G head that you once loved. It would be new, neutral 3G head. And then one of his other heads, though, could remember the brain mapping and they could do it. I didn't think about that. It's pretty good, right? That's a good workaround. So, that's actually uh, impossible, isn't it? Unless it's like an innate ability that a yokai would have. Then it'd be okay. Then it'll work out, yeah. What's going on in this scene, you guys? I forgot. Oh yeah, Isoroku's pregnant. You know, actually, still, I never thought she was that hot, but I noticed that she was wearing a collar the other day. I made her more hot. Made her more. I mean, she's she's pretty chill. She's a cool character. That collar's, you know. I'll see you in the next part. I gotta go fap.